All right, for Divine Set 3 being revealed soon and being a possible break set, I want to talk about encounter cards again for those that I do want and possibly will happen. And obviously, I'm not going to be talking about any of those decks relating to the characters that I already got them. From Overdress and Wheeldress alone, we got 14 encounter decks, four of them being stride deck sets along with 10 being not. The four stride deck sets we got all have their evolutions, while four out of 10 that are not stride got evolutions. So right now we kind of have a pretty decent wish list of encounter cards I want to already see. And possibly some ride lines because a lot of them relate to the main characters or basically big rivals. So let's get started with no in particular order. But I will be putting the least likely ones at the bottom and the more likely ones on the top. Now on the bottom list which I will have to say is probably not very likely at all since Legion Mate itself gets ignored a lot. But out of every new character in that season that should really get the encounter deck is Galard with his bluish flames. Why is because he basically plays the main rival and obstacle for Kai in the season, especially in the turnabout manga. He's basically Kai's main rival. And having a bluish flame ride line would be cool, especially that will go with Aglovel as well, which we could evolve the Percival into his dragon form of Hormans core and then evolve him even further to full power prominence Claire. I'm not saying that this is very likely and I have to say this is probably a very low chance of even happening, but out of everyone who gets some special treatment of Legion Maid, I think Galar should probably get that treatment. And another one that I have to say that isn't very likely at all, but something I kind of would like, is them going back to the Shinomon arc with at least the Astral Poet deck, because Valkyrian's a thing, and we got consistency of writing when it comes to D-series. We could also have Isabel just to bring back great natures, and Makuth Malek, because that one actually played an important role. Doesn't need to necessarily happen, especially since these are original decks practically, but it wouldn't be nice if they decide to encounter these for those people who kind of like the Shinomon arc. Now the next one I have to say is Sukiyomi. The reason why I say this is a low chance on my list is because one, we already got a Misaki deck based on Regalia, and that was in Minerva's Rising which also gave the evolved form right off the bat. We just skipped right off to the evolved form for some reason. And I also been noticing that all these encounter decks so far that they been introducing all have evolved forms. But considering that we already got a Misaki deck, I don't see this one very likely, especially when we got a Asuka deck that rivals her. Which the next one on the list will have to be Dark Irregular and Nova Grappler. This one in particular I would have to say is more likely because we are just basically missing one member of each team from Q4 and Foo Fighters. For Foo Fighter with Tetsu, it's pretty easy. We could just choose Almon. But with Q4 with Kamui. Kamui had so many different archetypes in his Nova Grappler deck, it's just insane. But two famous ones that he is known for is the Beast Deity Ozzer Dragon, which also will have the evolved form Aluminum Dragon if they want to skip to that, and Ethics Buster, which we could just skip to Extreme and just use regular Ethics Buster for other things. And we still do not have a proper Brandgate ride line that is from the 2011 series, aka not Stride. So this could be a cool way to just bring Nova Grapplers back while also bringing basically another clan while also bringing another ride line that isn't strat. And also, because we are going to set 3 soon, this could actually be a cool mimic of the original set 3 where Dark Irregulars got introduced. Which is also another reason why I kind of chose Tsukiyomi from the previous list because Tsukiyomi was also set 3. And speaking of set 3, Dayusha was also introduced in set 3 and this is going to be the next one on the list. Misada Kenji was one of the side rivals of the original series and and it would just be cool if they decide to bring Dayusha back, especially if you just want an evolution right off the bat to go alongside with a bunch of other evolutions, because right now 4 out of 5 nations are still practically asking for evolutions, and this is just a cool way to just script to the evolution straight off the bat, because we could have Dayusha, and with the dimensional robo parts, combine them with the Kaktai to great Dayusha. And if I have to pick a brand gate deck that doesn't revolve around strides, this would probably be the deck since we could just skip to the evolution right off the bat. Now to part of the list that kind of just goes to more likely and this is going to be a stride deck set for Gurguit. The reason why I chose Gurguit because I've been noticing all the stride deck sets that they've been introducing so far all have full on original skills that can be used even the generation break ability and Gurguit is one of those that can be using both skills the superior call skill from the stride and also the superior guard skill and Tile being the missing member 
member of Striders at the moment because we got Luard immediately and not the remaining Tri-3 members, we could technically just complete the trio for Striders already. And we also got a perfect Stride Fusion for this Gurgle as well, being Sunrite Ray Radiant Sword Gurgle. So completing Striders trio would be actually nice, even though this is less likely than the other team members. And speaking of completing cast members, I think Harry and Night Rose would also be nice to have Stride deck sets. Night Rose in particular is much better considering that you could use the GB2. She also has a Stride Fusion. And Harry is just because she's a dual with because I'm in Luna and also has a Stride Fusion. In which we go to Venus Lukir. Because Venus Lukir is the evolved form of regular Lukir. And it's also the first Dark State deck that is not a Stride deck set. And considering that Misaki already got her evolution with Minerva, it would be cool to have her rival just have her evolve form as well. And then to part of the last three, I will have to say Chrono Fang along with Chaos Breaker. The reason why is that both of them are the decks of the big villains. Chaos Breaker being the leading invader and Chrono Fang being the polar opposite of Chrono Jet, which also has viability with both skills and has a useful stride fusion of Chrono Tiger Rebellion that they could just remake. Now, bringing back Chaos Breaker can worry people because of lock which is why I would actually suggest if they decide to bring back the lock mechanic, they're going to need to play a mandatory set order that unlocks your opponent's rear guard at the end phase. And then we could combine the short war dragon V playstyle where the buying card cannot be used for the next turn. So at least that there's still the open rear guard that your opponent can use. And then at the same time, because of Chaos Breaker skill, retire the unlock rear guard and it's going to be the end phase of your own turn. So things don't get really OP. Basically, it's a set order that is mandatory to activate but similar to messiah crest and i just have to say this would probably be a good way to just put another brand gate encounter deck without having an evolution while well, dark state basically just get its second place style of an encounter deck and now two stride decks i really want to see is the alt mile and asha stride deck set it's pretty simple team try three for some reason we got chrono and buki that being grown jam messiah and we skipped all the way to kazuma and kazumi which is luard and shiranui funny thing is both of them are rivalries with each other but i am quite surprised that they didn't complete the original try three trio first alongside ibuki especially when both of them have evolutions with evolutions on top of evolutions which could also be in the stride deck set as well but i really hope that we do get to see these two for a stride deck set even though it might be a little awkward since we're not going to be really be able to play the generation break ability because I have noticed all the stride deck sets that we have been getting, we could also use the generation break ability, or at least all its skills. With these two, it's going to be really awkward, especially since you're going to only mainly use the stride skill, but not the generation break skill. Which is why I kind of suggested Gurgawit earlier, because Gurgawit is also part of the team, and also has a generation break skill that is just usable as well. Finally, to the top spot on my list, this one has been built up for a while, which is the trio of the Asia Circuit of Aichi Kain Leon, of Anna Azo, The Blood, and Glory Maelstrom. It's been so long since we got support for those decks, and having another encounter set would be very nice now, especially to evolve these three units. And these three evolutions can technically go alongside Venus Lukir, but I'm looking forward to these three even more, considering that they're the Season 2 main cast evolutions. And I really do hope they do retain parts of their original self. V Plana Azel was a little weird, but I would actually like to have something with the new version of Encounter Plana Azel to basically be a mix of a bit of V and the original. Basically giving power to your rear guards and not himself, but also being able to call more rear guards. The Blood, I actually kind of like the idea of lore of the Blood, where he does an all-out attack that could even cost him his life. Hence, I kind of like the V version of him where he takes himself one damage. In the original, it was an ultimate break, so he was just close to death. So I would actually like it if they decide to make it a little bit more like the V version where you would be taking pain for an all-out attack. And Glory Maelstrom being Glory Maelstrom, giving you a finisher with a guard restrict because you're making judgment on your opponent, while also giving power to your forces. 
But considering with the existence of Judgment Maelstrom, I actually would like it if they actually make use of Judgment Maelstrom here with Glory Maelstrom. Like the more Judgment Maelstroms you have, the stronger your Guard Restrict is. Or maybe even gaining skills depending on the amount of Judgment Maelstroms are in your order zone. It's just a little thought, but as long as they make these three, I'm actually pretty happy if they do. So that's it for the list of encounters that I decided to list off for Divines. What do you guys think of them? And what other encounters that you would like to see? Remember, this is just my own wish list, so you can always have your own opinion. And I am making this list based on the important characters of the past. So I'm not saying this is guaranteed to happen, but I really hope they do. Especially on the top ones on my list. Because it would be kind of strange that they decided not to make the evolutions of those units, while also making evolutions of other units. But anyway, that's it for this, and see y'all next time.